There has got to be a middle ground between those on the far right, like Don Jr., making wildly offensive comments at CPAC over the weekend, calling Fetterman a vegetable, and those on the far left who squawk ableist as a means of shutting down any kind of legitimate conversation on Fetterman's ability to do his job. We should be able to talk about medical issues of our public officials openly, be it a car crash, cancer, or mental health. But for whatever reason, it often seems like when it comes to now Senator Fetterman, many of his supporters want to apply a different standard. Joining me now is Maysoon Zayed, comedian, Princeton fellow, and disability advocate. Maysoon, thanks so much for coming on the show. Appreciate it. All right, so do you, think that, do you think that I'm getting this wrong? And if so, tell me why. Um, I don't think that you're getting it wrong. I think that the nuance is missing. I think that ableism absolutely exists. And the question about whether any elected official can do their job is a genuine question. But the idea that there should be more concern around John Fetterman because he did the right thing and he chose to possibly save his life as well as encourage other people to save their lives by going into treatment. And what's happening right now is he's being vilified because he publicly did that. He's being framed as unfit. But Dan, just as a numbers game, you have other people with severe mental health issues in Congress. One in four Americans has a disability. One in three households has a disabled person in it. So whether or not someone's fit, absolutely a valid question. But John Fetterman being focused on more than others when he hasn't shown any sign of not being fit well, is ableist. But but again, but but you say, and he hasn't shown any sign of not being fit. Um, he mm -hmm. has checked himself in uh, to a hospital for weeks now, mm -hmm. right? Uh, weeks mm -hmm. now. There's no sense of when that end comes, right? And again, I'm going to talk about this like I would any disease um, or, or any, or any it's condition. It's not a disease. It's a or, disability. Or, a disease is something that's fair. different. Uh, okay. Um, disease, condition, disability, whatever. It seems like whatever word I call it, I'll probably get criticized for it. Um, but because it'll probably be deemed ableist in some way, shape, or form, I'm guessing. But I will. So I'm the queen of the disability community. We call us the disco. Yep. And I'm telling you, the word is disability. Uh, That's I, like I, the I, acceptable I 100% believe you. I 100% believe that is the technically PC correct word to use. I think everyone in my audience understood what I was saying. With the other comment, I don't think it was ableist or discriminatory for me to use the phrase that I did. But I will absolutely use that term disability for the purposes of this conversation, because there's no reason I would not. Um, I so, so no, no, I appreciate that. So, so for the purpose of this conversation, we will use that particular phrase. And, and again, I will ask you the question, which is that he is in a hospital for weeks already with no sense of an end in sight. It does feel to me like folks like yourself and others are giving him a diff applying a different standard to him than you would anyone else who was hospitalized for many, many weeks on end without being willing to question, is he able to serve his constituents? I think I lived through and witnessed John McCain being in the hospital for long stints. So it's not the first time. And when I say unfit, I say, is he missing votes? Are Manton and Cinema able to swing a vote because John Fetterman's not there. And what we've seen so far is that that's not happening. So wait, so, so wait, no wait, I got to challenge you on that. So if Manchin, yeah, yeah, and Cinema, if Manchin and Cinema decide to start voting with Republicans, then it's legitimate to ask about it. But until then, it's not. No, I'm saying any time, whether Manchin and Cinema vote or not, any time his absence yeah. would affect the vote, that's when I would start <clears throat> to question the fitness. But until he's missed work, I don't think that we need to create an atmosphere where an American is sick and they feel like if I get treatment that could save my life, yeah. I'm going to lose my dream job when they are not missing anything that harms anyone. But, but, he hasn't yet missed a vote that affects his constituents so, positively but, but, or negatively in any way. But and that that's seems what like I a... mean by... That seems like a very apologetic way to define it, right? Which is the only time it can be held against him in any way, shape, or form 
is if his vote would have made the difference. Otherwise, it's okay. He doesn't need to be there. It could be for months on end. You get the final word on this. No, I don't think that it can be for months on end. I just think that ableism is a real thing. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.